Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about the voltage direction across each of the three components. In other words, the polarity of the voltage across each of the three components. And let's start with the easiest of the three, the resistor in, an, in a source-free RCL circuit. It turns out that the voltage across the resistor depends on the current direction. So if the current direction is in one direction, the polarity of the voltage will be accordingly. If the current then changes direction, then the polarity of the voltage will flip in the opposite. So let's say that we go around the loop, a KVL loop, around the circuit, across the resistor, the inductor, and the capacitor. When we go across the resistor, let's go ahead and plug in, there's the resistor, there's the inductor, there's the capacitor. When we go in the same direction as the current direction, notice there, is, there will be a voltage drop across the resistor. When we go from this end to this end of the resistor, that will be the voltage drop. If you kind of think of this as a source, notice the source points in the opposite direction of the current flow. In other words, the resistor always opposes the flow of current. That's a good way of looking at it. Now, if the current changes direction, notice the polarity of the voltage flips, and now we have a positive end here and a negative end there. And so we can see that if we travel around the loop in a clockwise direction, and the current is in an opposite direction, counterclockwise direction, then we have a voltage rise when we travel across the resistor. Here we have a voltage drop when we, cross, when we travel across the resistor. So we can summarize it as follows. When traveling around the loop in the same direction as the current, there will be a voltage drop across the resistor. And when traveling around the loop in the opposite direction as the current, there will be a voltage rise across the resistor. So the voltage rise and the voltage drop across the resistor simply depends on the direction of the current and which way we travel around the loop as we're trying to sum up all the voltage rises and voltage drops. So a voltage drop when we travel in the same direction as the current, a voltage rise when we travel in the opposite direction to the current. And that's how we determine the polarity of the voltage across the resistor. And importantly, we can see that the direction of the polarity of the voltage across the resistor always will be opposite to the current, which means the resistor basically opposes the flow of current, which it actually does. And that is then indicated by the polarity of that voltage. That concept will help us when we look at the inductor especially, and the capacitor as well, although with the capacitor it has more to do with the charge than with the direction or the, of the current or the change in direction of the current or the change in the current itself. So we'll get into the details of that, but notice Basically, a resistor opposes the flow of current, and therefore the polarity is actually in the opposite direction of the, low, of the flow of current, another good way of looking at the polarity of the voltage across a resistor.